JD Cap 26 here, just do chips and beers and hobbies. And uh, we've got my favorite Martian ship here. This is the bottom half. And what I want to do is I want to thread these LEDs through here. Hopefully. And hopefully I can get the other one through too. Because it has to go on the back of the ship. Um, I just push it a little bit. I don't want to break it. I'm going to have to carve it a little more with the knife. I'll pull this one out and uh, open this hole up. Just so uh, I can get the other LED in. Not much, just a little bit. Like that. So let's see if that'll work. Let's see. That one goes in. And there we got the other one in too. So I pull that through. I put some tape on here to keep the wires together. What I want to do is I want to put one right here because this is open in the front. So I got the uh, glue gun. I got the glue gun all set up. And put some glue on that. And put one there. It's got to dry a little bit, so um, we'll get back to you. This other one, want to loop it. Put a little glue in there. And uh, bend it up. And of course, that's got to dry too. It's always a string after you use a glue gun. You ever notice that? That one's pretty dry, the front one. So, put a little more on top here. I like to use glue. I mean, you could use tape too if you want um, in this. Yeah, I'm still assembling this uh, ship. Um, I think uh, the doors, I have to figure out how they uh, open and close. I mean, it's pretty um, difficult, I think. Okay, so we got that. Oops, we don't want... Now I got glue on my fingers. Isn't that great? Uh, I didn't wait long enough. Gotta have it in this. I gotta have it in this position because the wire has a. It's got to point up towards the panel. So we'll get back to you. So what I did here is, I put the uh, top piece on the hinge, and actually with tweezers I use tweezers, and just put a drop of glue on there. Hopefully they'll work. I have the glue shut closed. I can't help that. I'm going to do the other one. Hopefully I have the other part. I didn't lose it. Well, I'm ending up uh, just gluing these on. Uh, putting the hinge on. Um, too difficult to do, really. Um, you could do it. But you have to shave these sides down a little bit more, I think. Um, to get it to open up freely. I'm not going to be fooling with the model opening and closing the doors anyway afterwards. I just want the effect of the light crumbing through the windows and the front of the ship. So now I'm going to put the top on here. And uh, I think I'm going to leave it. Uh, hopefully snap together and not glue it. Because if I glue it, I'll never be able to take it apart. If I wanted to work on it, or if somebody else wanted to work on it in the future. And, uh, get those like that. And, uh, I think I'm gonna put a little glue right here. On the top. 
top and just take the brush brush it in I'm gonna hold it like that for a little bit um, I suppose I could put elastic around it to hold it you could put elastic around it to hold the two pieces together but um, I'm just gonna hold it for now just get that seam there I'm gonna use some uh, silly putty and fill these windows in so when I go to spray it I don't mess up the windows I want that seam on the top to look a little bit better than it is so we've got the uh, windows covered up with the uh, silly putty as best we can and uh, we're going to give this a uh, coat of uh, silver, testers silver. And uh, pour a little in here. There we go. Do use a uh, mask when you spray paint. And we're waiting for the compressor to uh, do its thing. So we're going to try to turn it around here. Let's get a... Uh, use a brush to turn it around. Oops, I don't want to do that. Grab it by the edges. The edges are still not... still dry. So, we got to let that dry for a while. I'm going to pour the rest of this inside the bottle and clean the brush out. And uh, it's not the best paint job in the world, but it'll do. And um, that takes a while to dry. I'm going to let that go to the afternoon and then do the bottom of it. Um, so... We'll see you in the next uh, clip. So now we're going to do the sign, and uh, the base color is yellow. So that should be enough. The edge. And now we're going to do the Spaceman's uh, suit with an M of green. And then we're going to wash it with um, some glow-in-the-dark paint. And so let's just do the suit.
I gotta put my glasses on, guys. I gotta see if I missed any spots. Maybe you can see that. Um, see, like right there in his collar. Remember, it's uh, three dimensional when you spray paint or do any kind of models. It's three dimensional. So I gotta turn them over on this side. Just pile a little more. And then we gotta clean the brush out. Right in there. set them down and what you want to do is you want to pour your paint back into your bottle and I'm going to do a little of the uh, flesh color here just a little bit let's see if we can just miss the face This is a 1.5 millimeter uh, needle, if I have that correct. It's a very, very, it's the tiniest needle you can get in an airbrush for a precise direction of the paint. You now the back I'm going to have to do by um, hand. And uh, we're going to go in with some more flush with the paintbrush and do the back of his neck. And some of his face. Sorry to, if he has a little bit of a green hue uh, to him in his face, if you got some of it from his um, spacesuit, when he painted the spacesuit green. Uh, it's okay because the guy is an alien. So there he is, close up. And I'm gonna rinse the brush. And let's cup, cap that flesh tone off to the side. You can look up uh, mixing of colors on Google and internet if you want to make a brown. So you don't have the brown you want to make. Uh, just Google it and it'll show you the colors to mix um, to make a brown. Okay. And uh, you know, you can also have a color wheel. And uh, the color wheel will show you. You should always shake these up. <clears throat> color wheel will always show you uh, how to mix paints as well. And uh, grab him by his body. And we're going to do his shoes. Brown. I'm going to put him on a base. Um, I have to make a clay base for him to stand up. And I'm going to put him on a base. I have to make that. I still have to make the clay base. You can also help your acrylic paint to dry with um, a blow dryer, a small blow dryer, or even a big blow dryer. That'll help dry the paint in between coats. If you're doing coats or dry it, you can dry it wash that way. The watch is extremely wet. So 
So now we're just painting the hair on. And uh, he's got, in the original actor, Ray Walson, had uh, red hair. And uh, this is the closest. It was like a blondish red. It was the closest I can imagine to get red hair for this, this uh, model. I'm going to have to go over the flesh again. I don't know if I can get... I'm going to try to get his eyebrows on there too. So I'm just painting along here. So he got a uh, 71003 red. Um, it's a red color. And I'm going to shake that up a little bit. And I already got some red in my palette here, so I'm going to put it in there and uh, be good. A few drops. You know, pink goes a long way, and we got a brush here I've been using 7650 5 forward slash 0. And that's, the, that's a really handy brush, let me tell you. If you can find that exact brush. And, we're going to paint the sign here, hopefully, and do the lettering. You might have to go over the lettering a few times, depending on, you know, how much paint you put on your brush. I mean, you know, you want to, you want to give it a little dip um, every time you, you do a letter. So, like that. These are nice big letters, so... Not hard to do the sign on this on this kit, which is which is nice. Sometimes they squeeze in the letters on the signs, and they're so so tiny. It's like you have to almost dry brush the area to get the letter to show up. You know. I'm gonna do the top here. This letter right here. Have patience. As much patience as you can. I hope you can see this. I know I'm 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 it's hard to paint and display the, the way I'm painting. I got my hand in the way, see like that. And say like that. Maybe I can hold it from the back. I put a thing in the back so it stands up when it's, you know, on display. So I'm going to finish this sign up and uh, don't worry, I'll get back to you and you'll see more. And we've got this little ball of clay. It's a uh, wet clay, which will dry up. You just work it around like a pizza. And you're going to make a a stand for him. Put, put it on wax paper because then it'll peel off nicely. And uh, while you have the figure and you have it wet, put them on there. Make the marks in the clay where you're going to put them. You know, press a little, you know, gently. It'll put two marks there. A little bit a little bit more forceful there we go two footprints and uh, put that to the side of your eye so put that over to the side and oh I want to show you I got the sign done there's the sign it's all done and uh, I'll show you this all together slightly all together as best I can in the next clip I don't want to leave this out I uh, I mix some powdered bone gloss uh, glowing of dark paint. It's not paint, but it's a powder that I mix with an acrylic. And all I'm doing is getting the powder on the brush and dropping it on his suit and the front hair. I'm not too concerned about the back of his, the back of the suit. Um, you won't see that as much, but when you see it white on the brush like that, see it's white on the brush. You know you have some powder on there. 
and just let him dry. Okay, so he's all done, and uh, um, I did the sign and everything else, and I'm going to turn the lights on. And the lights emit from the, the side area here and the front. See, see my finger? I carved out a little bit in the front because it closes, and you carve it out with the um, X-Acto knife so it shines out the front. So that's like his guiding light when he goes through space. So, uh, My Favorite Martian, a very fun show to watch. You could probably find it streaming on t uh, TV, Netflix, or not Netflix, I'm sorry. Probably Sling TV, maybe, if you look it up. And uh, it's a good show. I think you'd enjoy it. It's not really weird. I'm going to show you the paints next that I used. They're actually over there. Maybe you can see them. A green flesh, glow-in-the-dark mix. A dark brown, a yellow, a red, a silver gray, and an orange for the hair. So those are the paints, and I'll try to list them in the below. And I'll have this kit in the comments where you can find it. And I thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. Be safe, and be nice. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.